Hi guys, how are you all doing? This is MJT Reviews, bringing you the best of model kit reviews. I hope you're all okay, guys. Well, I knew that this time would come around a helicopter again. And the reason is that I bought a helicopter, guys, is because I haven't built one for such a long time. And I popped in a Asda the other day, love my local store, and I happened to see this. And it just caught my eye straight away with it being a Sea King. And I've never built one of these, and it's a starter kit as well, and it came with the glue and the paint brushes and that, and these paints that I do use, but not very much. And uh, yeah, it just caught my eye, guys, and I thought, you know what, I want that. And um, it wasn't bad for fifteen pound, so and I've already opened it, as you can see. Um, and that's just what the helicopter looks like at the back. There's not much to the styling, and you know what can you really expect to be honest with you? You know, as long as all the kits in there and stuff. So I'm gonna take this out now. <laughs> Come on, it's one of those side loader boxes. So right, let me just put that over there. So guys, as you can see, we're greeted with a lot of plastic. So I'll get to that in a moment. And I'll have a little look at this. I'll have a look at the decals in a minute. So this is it's one of the new styling kits, as you can see by the booklet. Um, it doesn't do what Revell do. It shows you the picture on the front of it. Um, so that's what Revell normally do. But what it does do, guys, is it gives you a lot of indication. Um, like a lot of historical... Um, information about it and when it was made and you know what it's served with and stuff um, and it says that the speed of it was 129 mph right there and the range was 764 miles the rotor diameter was 62 foot wow so and the engines were two Rolls-Royce uh, gnome or gnome turbo shaft, whatever it says there. <laughs> so it gives you, it does give you information. Obviously, it's got Hornby, Hornby hobbies. I think these are in with Hornby. So, so I was thinking about getting a, a nice train set, guys. I was thinking about going into uh, collecting those trains, but you see, the thing is, guys, I nearly died when I saw the prices, and it's. It's going to cost a lot of money, so I can't really afford that. Not right now. Maybe if I was had loads of money, but I don't. But anyway, get into this. Um, so it gives you an option to put the motor in. Right there. So I might be doing that. I might be getting a motor for it. So the blade can spin around. How cool is that? I'll get it all done out like that, guys. and Put all the stuff in. Get all my paints set up and stuff. This will be a later project. I'm not going to be doing it yet, guys. Um, because, as you know, I'm already doing a constellation. And it's coming on fantastic, guys. It really is. You know, from being an old plane like it is. And I've, I've just loved the build so much. Even though it's old. But it's still good. Uh, and there's all the seats and everything that you put in. There's a lot of detail. I love the 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 way they indicate with the uh, the red here. You know, so it gives you a good indication of where to put it all and glue it and stuff. See, like here, look, you've got your joystick controllers and stuff. I wonder if I can put a motor in the side of it, guys. Right, because you know where it's got the door here. Right, I was thinking that. Um, you know, because it's got like the crane bit that you put on the outside of it, out, you know, on the outside of the door. It's got the crane bit, and that would lift the people up into it. And I'm thinking I might put a motor on there as well. Maybe put it on a diorama or something. That would be really, really cool. I might go with that, actually. I might have two motors in this one. Make a diorama out of it, eh? What do you think, guys? Yeah. Why not? Definitely. They've got a lot of stuff with it. A lot. A lot of information. Yep. 
Even got interior bits as well, guys. Just look at that. It's fantastic. And there's all your rotor blades and stuff. So, I can have it open like that or I can have it closed if I want to. But obviously, I'm having it open because I'm going to have it spinning around. There's a the motor there. So, I need an AF1004 electric motor sold separately. Okay, I'll get one from the model shop. Cool. I love it. Definitely love that. And I'll get another motor so I can put it on the door and then put the basket up on it and stuff. So let me just put that over there. These are the decals that you get with it. 70 years of life saving. It's got all the You know, these are lovely, these. Nice and glossy. Just how I like it. So all those will be going on, definitely. Um, and here is the actual thing itself, the helicopter itself. I know it's not massive, guys, but it'll do for me straight away. It's just about two, three, four. There'll be about six or seven sprues in here, including the clear parts, which is at the back. Um, I can't get it out for you guys. Um, just give me a minute. I don't, I don't like doing this, but it's only quick, so, you know, don't go unsubscribing from me, guys, just because I do this sort of thing. <laughs> As I know that recently something has happened, and I don't know why, maybe you're not happy with what I do or what I do, but I'm trying my best for you, I promise you that. I don't really want you to unsubscribe from me, I really don't. Um, so, here we go, guys, I'm back. I'm back. So, there's a lot of plastic here. A lot of plastic. So, here we go. Here's the main fuselage. And it's fantastic, guys. Absolute. I can't fault it at all. It's just what I wanted. Perfect. It's not harsh or anything. It's definitely one of the new builds. One of the new kits. Must have just come out. Fantastic. So there's your main fuselage. You've got your seats in here, which are awesome. Just look at all these little parts here for the propellers, and there's your engine cowlings there. It's just brilliant. There's your instrument panels and stuff. Same for here. Just look at all that. I don't know what that part is there. Um, I love it that it's got interior. I love doing interior on things. Love it. And here's your raw blades. Which are also fantastic. You've got your back wheel there. And your back fin that you put on there. And you've got the other blades here that you put on. And so you can have separate blades that you can put on there, which is really good. There's your housing for your motor. There's the top part that you put on the propeller blades. There's your wheel bits there. There's your bottom bit that goes on the uh, fuselage. And there's the interior bit there. So, you get quite a lot with the kit, guys. It's really, really good for 15 quid. And there's your clear parts. Got your glass and everything. And there you've got your canopy and your other parts on there. So, that's what you get with the kit, guys. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about six sprues all together, including your decals, your information sheet, and then you've got your booklet. Um, your booklet, you you got your box, your start kit, start kit box. So you got your paints, three at each side. You've got your glue and two paint brushes, and then the big model kit itself. So for fifteen pound, guys, you can't really fall off, can you? So this is MJT Reviews saying thank you very much to all of you for supporting me like you have been doing and watching all my videos and staying with me. You know, it really does mean a lot to me, guys. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. Um, 
you know, I'm trying my best to um, do better for you guys, you know, if there's any problems that you do have, just hit me up in the comment link below and just tell me, you know, if there's something I'm not doing right, because I really would appreciate the feedback, um, and thank you all so much for watching this video, like, share, subscribe, and I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will be back in the next video when I have one available, so I'll see you all then guys, bye for now, thank you again, see you later.